Well, hello and welcome back to Common Farm Flowers. And today, at last, we are dry enough to mow our meadows. So this is a clip, is, this clip is about how we mow our meadows how, here at Common Farm in order to make the incredible wildflower meadows that Fabrizio has created through uh, a, cons <laughs> they are the work of his life. And we've been here since 2004, so it's been a long, long process. Anyway, I'll show you how we mow them and hopefully it'll help you do the same. And if you're new to the channel, you're very welcome. Please do subscribe, press the bell icon and we'll tell you when we've got more clips coming up. And if any of the tips and tricks we give you along the way are useful, you can always buy me a coffee. Or better still, join my club. Uh, details for copy buying and club membership are in the blurb to all my clips. Right, let's get on. Right, you can see the meadow here has mostly gone to seed and it's quite late in the season to be mowing and we probably would have done it a bit earlier, but we've had very, very wet weather. So what Fabrizio's done is leave it to dry out a bit and to let the seed develop so that when he mows, the developed seed will be knocked down. So we mow it with the very basic John Deere ride on mower. It is not a large or fancy pants machine. And uh, Fabrizio sets it quite high, as you can see, and he mows and he leaves the mowings for a day or so. So look, you can see where he's mown this strip and he'll just leave the mowings there for a day or so, so that some of the seed can shake down where he mows it. Down here, you can see yellow rattle seed. Very important, if you want yellow rattle in your meadow, then it needs to be fresh seed. So this is this season's seed. And uh, it will shake down as Fabrizio mows and be left in place. So if you're going to have yellow rattle, you really need to have fresh, fresh, fresh seed. And here are the seed heads of the different kinds of orchids that Fabrizio has in these meadows. So he's put them here and he'll hang them up so that the seed is shaken over the meadow when he's finished mowing. It's a long process because sometimes the mower overheats and has to be left. We have quite a lot of meadow here at Common Farm. Here is the meadow in the Gilly Orchard with the dahlias up there waiting for cutting. I've got a great big wedding this weekend so I'm going to cut all those dahlias tomorrow. And then, having cut the meadow, we leave it for at least 24 hours before turning the grass. And Fabrizio has hung bunches of orchid seed heads so that the wind will shake the seed down and we'll get more next year. It smells delicious. And while all this lovely uh, May cuttings dries down, I'm going to go and cut a wedding because that's my main job. 16 buckets. I should cocoa. Meanwhile, outside the meadows, there are still quite a lot of wildflowers flowering. For example, spot the purple loose strife by the bench and wild carrot in the long grass and Achillea, hello, that's me Achillea along the edge of the path You can have wildflowers anywhere, you don't need a whole meadow This patch of wild carrot shouldn't be here we're, our clay is too thick and we are too wet, but we have strong feelings about establishing mycorrhiza. And once you get the right mycorrhiza, which is the right, the right kind of mushroom in the ground, then all kinds of wildflowers will flourish even where they're not really supposed to. 
look still flowering i call this egg and bacon and there's a meadow cranes uh, no mountain cranes bill that little tiny geranium here isn't that sweet wild herbs this is marjoram so two days later and he's now mowing again but he's mowing all the mowings all the clippings into piles so that we can pick them up and because the grass has been sitting there for a couple of days and it's drying out being dried out the action of the mowing is like flaying the grass heads the seed heads so uh, all the seeds hopefully will be being scattered on the ground and then this afternoon it's all hands to the deck picking up the grass clippings so then as you can see he has mown all the clippings into heaps and then rustled up three teenagers to help pick up the clippings and here are the orchid seed heads and they've been hanging around for a few days and they'll go back when the whole process is finished they'll be plugged back into the sculpted field meanwhile in the hedgerows it's the most spectacular year for blackberries that i remember ever so we're very lucky as you can see uh, we have a gray day which means also it's not just a gray day we had some rain in the night so we mowed three days ago tea cake we left the clippings on the meadow for 36 hours and then we collected all the clippings up or rather the teenagers did for a small fee um they're my children by the way uh and they took the clippings to the lowest point of the whole of common farm because you want to take all the nutrients away from the meadow and then it rained so what happened was i hope all the seeds which had been kind of flayed down by the mowing process onto the ground now will have been mo will have been rained in which is fantastic a little a nice rain enough to make a puddle will kind of stick the seeds to the ground works very well <laughs> so you can see we had a really nice bit of rain last night and Fabrizio had mown very tightly he's almost scalped the ground you can see the earth so he's mown really really tightly and the seeds have been rained in and now we will leave it possibly mow it once more it depends on the autumn if it's if we get a very rich autumn with lots of warm days and rain then uh the meadow will probably get mown one more time before the winter um, and then hopefully it all comes back next year if you're going to be sowing wildflower seed late august is a really good time to do it but it must be fresh 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 particularly yellow rattle so don't just buy a packet of yellow rattle seed when you see it in a random shop order yellow rattle from uh, reputable people who deal particularly in wildflower seed oh, my hair is very windy um and in the uk we recommend habitat aid it's a neighbor of ours nick man who's a good fellow and Emil's Gate Seeds. I'll put the links in the blurb to their websites. I'll show you where we put the clippings. I love the fact that sometimes we get herbaceous uh, perennials escaping to the edge of the meadow. Over there, the pink person there, that is um, Persicaria, but I can't remember the name of it, but it flowers late in the summer uh, and it's bursting through the hedge which I think is hilarious, but it's, I'll, I'm happy with that. I'll leave it. So I went down to look at where the wildflower meadow clippings are normally put and they weren't there. So I rootled around and found Fabrizio and I said, where are the wildflower clippings, meadow clippings? And he said, 
go and have a look the other side of the pond. Now, this area, as you can see, it's all purple. This is a very damp area and we have a lot of purple loosestrife here, white spires of meadow sweet. There's a lovely vetch. I'll show you. There are lots of things here. This area has not been mown, but the other side of it is where we've put the deer fencing this year. And it's been a bit of a dead zone. So come with me and I'll show you what Fabrizio's done. This pond area is a very different kind of wild area. Lots of different kinds of wildflowers. For example, this lovely little purple vetch and being worked by that bumblebee and the yellow flower I call bacon and eggs. Um, there's white, little spires of white achillea and a chair. Lots of thistles, which are good for people to eat. The yellow flower here, this little yellow daisy, is flea bane. More white achillea. It's lovely, this patch. I love it. There's wild mint here. Delicious. And the white creamy flower there is meadow sweet. Here is marshmallow. And this glorious purple loose drive everywhere. Being worked by a bumblebee. But here is a bit of this dead zone next to the fence. And you can see Fabrizio's brought all the clippings, well, not all of them, but some of the clippings have been brought here and scattered about. So the children dumped the clippings off the back of the trailer. And then Fabrizio just ran over them with the mower again to spread them out. And so this is inoculating this patch with fresh wildflower seed, which hopefully will take and extend our meadow into a new area for next year. So thank you all very much for watching. I hope your mowing regimes are coming together nicely. I hope all your small meadow patches, large meadow patches, acreages of meadows all look amazing. And uh, here's to next summer and more wild so that uh, we can look after our invertebrates. And then the rest of the food chain, us included, will look after itself. Have a lovely weekend.